Well, welcome back to At Your Leisure. I'm Darren Kinder, and I got my good friend here, Keith Southwick, and we are gonna have a blast today because we've got the new Can-Am 1000 Turbo and the Polaris 1000 Turbo, and these bad boys know how to have a good time. So we're gonna take them out. We're out here at the Knolls, just west of Salt Lake, and we're out here, and we're gonna tear some sand up today. This was a really fun experience to come out here and run two of the fastest machines in the industry head to head. Because you know, you go out and you drive one one day and drive one the next day, and it's really hard to get a real feel of, of how they perform and how they perform differently. And it was a lot of fun to be able to take them and just pound them side by side and see how they did and then switch machines and do it again. And the beauty of that is you really kind of got a feel for which machine you like better. The Razor's got more top in, so it's a little quicker. I like that about it. I like that the suspension's a little bit tighter on it, so you can feel the bumps a little bit better. Um, and that's, that's pretty much what I liked about that one. Now the Can-Am, I like the interior on that one a lot better. Uh, the seats are a lot softer. And as you get older, you kind of like a softer ride. And I know that the shocks are probably adjustable on there, but the way it's set up right now, it was a little bit softer. And so going over the bumps, I kind of like that being an older person. I don't know if it's because I'm used to driving a lot of Razors, but I like the Polaris a little bit better than the Can-Am, and it's strictly because it felt more comfortable to me. I like the way the suspension reacted to me. I like the way the turbo was quick to respond. In fact, I never felt any turbo lag in the machine whatsoever. I mean, you just stomped on the throttle and away it went. And, uh, and it was just a lot of fun to drive. In fact, out here in the sand, most of the time I had to keep it in four-wheel drive just to keep it from slinging all over the place because it has so much power in the rear end. The Can-Am's a lot of fun. It has a ton of power and it is really ergonomically comfortable. I'd lean towards the Can-Am. Um, I like the suspension as far as a smoother ride. Uh, it does have a little bit lower end, so it does have a quick pull shot. I really love the seats and the softness of them. I could sit in those all day long and not get sore. And then the interior set up really nice. Everything's there, easy to get to and uh, easy to operate. Well, Keith and I really had a great time today out here running these as hard as we could back to back. It was really a lot of fun and it was fun to really get a feel for one machine over the other and see which one we liked. But if you'd like to check both of these out, get up to Weller's Recreation in Camas and they can show you both machines. They keep everything inside so it's super clean when you get them, except for the ones we just beat up. Uh, you'll get a great machine. I'm Darren Kinder for Keith Southwick. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, if you liked that video, you're gonna wanna watch all of our other AYL videos. You're gonna wanna like it, you're gonna wanna share it, and you're gonna wanna subscribe, right? See all the buttons right here? <laughs> this is what you're gonna wanna do, click, right? Click, click, click. on them, because we have some really cool videos, all kinds of behind the scenes stuff, bloopers of Alicia crashing and stuff. Shh. Why are you gonna sell me out like that, Steven? <laughs> so you wanna click all of these things and subscribe to our channel, because At Your Leisure is awesome, and uh, we'll see you here for more videos.